Willie, where to start? Dave, you here, and you've created a moment of magic, moment of history. How are you feeling right now? Um, obviously buzzing to get the win, and again, to hit the nine darter is just absolutely unbelievable, so I'm really happy. One of those ones, did you know it was going, the groove you were in, the way the throw was, as soon as that first one, treble 20, did you know? As I said, like um, obviously me and Brad have good games, uh, we've had good games in the past, and I just went to myself, if you hit 15 darts or less, just win the match. That's all I was caring about. And then when the 177 went in, I was kind of went, oh, just like, obviously, like, because in the European tour, I, uh, I missed that against Joe. And I was like, just don't repeat that. Don't repeat that. And then when the first one went in, I was just thinking, right, let's go for it. And then it went in. So just very, very chuffed. Game that went one way, then the next, you were in control. Then Brad takes out that 134 to almost like a body shot. What were your emotions like at that point? I, I believe like, I believe that we, we, we both done the wrong things at the wrong time. I, f I feel like we, we both played a good game and obviously uh, Brad battered me for the first set. Unbelievable. And uh, as I said, I'm just happy to get the win and to uh, keep going. Like some players possibly would have like, I wouldn't say folded, but like would have struggled. But nah, I'm just happy to keep, yeah, go well and win the match. All the subplots to this game was, was so fascinating because tour cards were on the line for not two people, three people involved in this game. One, obviously, it's cemented yours, which you must be over the moon about, but it's also wrecked your stable mates' dreams at the same time. <laughs> I knew, I knew that, uh, going into the game that, obviously, me and Nathan are very good friends, and, obviously, I've seen the, <laughs> I've seen the interview that he done at the online league. Now, as I said, um, obviously, he was in the right, the right frame of mind, you know what I mean? Like, he wanted me to get beat, which is fair enough. I'm not going to fall at one for that, you know what I mean? But... Uh, I'm not going to apologise either. <laughs> no, but um, as I said, like Nathan's, like Nathan's good enough to go to Q School and get a card, so I wish him all the best for that. And then now it's just on the next round for myself on Wednesday. Riding this crest of a wave, the emotions you're in, the form you're in, no fears against Ryan Sale? No, um, Ryan's a good player. I know what to expect. So it's just depending on how I perform on the day now, it's, we'll see what happens. Really thank, you for thank, you thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Are you going to be a national hero back home in Scotland now? Are you prepared for what the reaction is going to be? Uh, definitely. Uh, as soon as the 9 that I went in, I could just think about my local pub and what everybody was doing. Uh, I'm going to go back to my phone, I reckon. It's going to be full of messages and that. And I can just, all I can do is thank everybody for the support. Uh, as I said, I'm glad to get over the line. It's been, I would say, it's been a tough, tough time for me in the past few weeks. Like, uh, a couple, one of my friend's relatives uh, died and uh, one of my good mates had died as well. So um, the prep, the prep uh, at the start wasn't going too well and then uh, I kind of got myself back up and went, I'm going to the Worlds. So I just kind of like got myself focused back again and done the practice and it paid off. Was that on your mind when you were up there? Obviously that's the bad news you've had. No, nah, nah, definitely not. Um, obviously like um, I was very close with the two people that died and um, I knew what they would have thought if they were alive, and uh, they would have wanted me to win and do exactly what I've done. So I, I just I done it for them really. So I'm just happy to get the win. And the crowd were getting involved as well. How proud of the way you held yourself together in the first start as well? Uh, the crowd doesn't really bother me. Like I, I was I was saying at the break to some of the security guards that like um, the TV does a lot of justice. It, it is loud, but like it's a lot lot louder on the TV than it is in real life. I'm just happy to be mixing it with the best players in the world, and um, hopefully long may it continue. Thank you very much. Well, you just touched on what you say about the crowd there. Is there two ways that can go that can really stir you on, no matter whether they're cheering or booing you? No, definitely. You know what I mean? Like, it's uh, not very often that a Scotsman uh, takes that much stick now. <laughs> now, um, when they were all singing that Scotland getting battered everywhere they go, and that, that was spurring me on because I wanted to just, like, get it up them and stuff. Eh? But now, nah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just happy to get the win, as I said. And obviously, um, we'll see what happens on Wednesday and we go from there. Yourself, I'm the two players that really wear your heart on your sleeve. You show your emotions on that stage. I think that's something that the, the crowd really enjoys as well. No, definitely. I believe that, um, that's what the some uh, well, I'd say majority fans pay for. You know what I mean? Like fair enough. Um, some players don't celebrate in that, but like a good celebration gets the crowd going and that. And you want you want a good atmosphere, especially at an uh, iconic venue like the Ali Pali. Do you think this is a game that we could be seeing in years to come? Just 25, yourself, guys, 21 and. Could we be seeing this in, in many major tournaments? No, definitely. As I said, Brad's a great player. Um, we obviously we're both young. We've both got time on our side, so it's just down to both of us to see what happens in the future. No more. What pub is it in East Calder? 
uh, the it's the Pigeon Club, or well now it's called the Village, but the Pigeon Club is everybody calls it. What sort of bedroom will be happening tonight there because of that? Uh, it'll be mayhem. I, I, I'm just picturing people getting chucked out and that all my friends are getting chucked out for jumping about and that, you know what I mean? Um, so uh, <laughs> hopefully not, but uh, no, I'm just I'm just happy to put on a performance for all my friends, family and all the fans out there tonight. I know that John Henderson has been your mentor over the past few weeks as well. I mean, this is a special result for him. He didn't make it here. But you sort of take up the mantle for him? Ah, definitely. And no, I mean, Hendo are great friends, and obviously, he was very, very unlucky this year not to get here. Um, I believe it. Like uh, it's been a tough, I would say, two years now along with COVID. Some players have been able to adapt to the well, what's been going on in the PDC, and some players haven't. And I believe that Hendo's just been very, very unlucky. He's playing very good darts, and we'll be seeing a lot more of him next season. And you've written yourself into the record books. I know you had a big night yourself when Scotland won the World Cup. You watched that on TV and then you've created history now as well. So it's a special night. No, definitely no, but uh, it's not as good as uh, Peter Wright and John winning the World Cup anyway. But no, I'm just happy to, as I said, hit the line darter and win the match. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Nah, but as I said, I'm not. I'm not going to think about that. You know what I mean? Like uh, everybody will know in here, nine darters are very, very hard to hit. You need to be right on top form, etc. Like the nine darter tonight, I would say it came out of nowhere. Uh, but um, obviously, if I hit one, I'll be buzzing. But uh, we just, I just want to win games and go as far as I can in the competition. Well, you've got looks at the back as well. Yeah, same question. But if you could decide, which would you prefer? Take the money. Oh, that's a, that's a tricky question. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to be greedy, I'd want both. <laughs> no, but uh, obviously, at my stage in my career, obviously the 50 grand would be amazing, but I'd want to go as far, like, as, far as I can in the tournament because at the end of the day, the ranking money helps me go and it's my future as well. So. But it's not only the money, it's making history. No, definitely. As I said, um, that would be great as well. But um, nine darters don't keep your tour card, so you need to be continuing. And obviously, I want to go as far as I can in the competition. Thank you.